that's absolutely true. It looks like in the last bend, pick phase, Vietnam switched from a max to the omen last second. A very strong sideliner as well, but it means that it's not as good against ADCs. Yes. We'll see whether Vietnam picks up another ADC counter. No, they're going to pick Thane here. Thane should be good. I hope they're going to pick Thane or Lumber, but Thane is so good into Alice because he can just rush in there. And Alice is not a good frontline. She can't really block anything. Thane can go in there. Once they're low, just X, you know, cast his Excalibur ultimate and just delete the team. So let's see if they're going to pick up the Thane or even Omar. They can actually pick Omar and just go super early aggressive and just punish. Instead, they're going with Max. So that means it's going to be a Max or a Xenio support. Let's see which of these heroes. We're going to be seeing a lot of these heroes hit their power, power spikes soon. Because at level 4, once these ultimates are unlocked, so many of them unlock the crucial parts of their kit. So for instance, the uh, Death's Embrace by Omen or the Death from Above from Zapis. Yeah, wow. Look at Omen. Uh, look at the Mori there. Uses his Magnetic Storm there to get... So so low, but Zikane is going to be come, jump in there, and he has ultimate. He's going to jump on more, and the best is not in a really tough spot. He's in proper going to push him away. Kane is not able to get onto them, but look, the Max has lift off. He's going to activate, try to get it, but Morin gets killed by Gao there. Nice rotation. Gao gets another kill. Now Chain comes just in time, and then Mr. Sun gets a, gets a kill on Kane. That was such an amazing cyclone by Mr. Sun there. Oh, on the flash, he managed to get two of them knocked up, and he managed to deal so much damage to them while they're doing it, and allow his teammates to follow up with damage. Vision onto your Abyssal Dragon. And the person at the oh my god, Gao is going to be caught out here. Look at the impact for Raj coming there. He gets stunned and locked down. Morin playing with the best playing Morin. Such great plays and combos by him. They have to respawn. They're going to back off and they're going to give the dragon over to Thailand, unfortunately. Oh my god, Zephyrs is able to steal it, but he needs to get out of this. He's in a really tough spot. He may fall here. And look at that, Morin is right on top of him. What a beautiful steal by Team Vietnam. Even though their team got scared, I don't know why that Max felt like he needed to back off because he's basically a full H. They're gonna have to try to jump onto this Morin and kill him because if they don't, he's gonna be able to carry this game massively here. And wow, look at that. The Flash gets the kill onto the Omen here. And look at Froe, he's gonna really tell him he's gotta get out of here because one Omen and the Flash onto him. And look at that, he's gonna potentially fall here. Flash ability should be coming up pretty soon here, and it does. And there's a kill onto Pro E. And Vietnam continuing to give up deaths. And uh, to not trade that death. Yeah, Keen gets, wow, Keen's able to get two kills. He gets a kill earlier underneath, their, their, close to their tower on one Omen, and he gets a kill on the Flash here, and he gets a tower, basically making such great plays at Zephyr's here. And he needs to back off there because the. Xenio ultimate, Xenio comes up just in like a mass lands, but no, the death from above does not land on Morin, and as a result... Which allows Gao to just split push very effectively on top. Yeah, exactly, that's what you want to do. Look at Flash, he's jumping in there, and the Alice Sunshine Tower isn't. Zephyrs comes in there, but he puts him in a really tough spot. The Alice comes out, the Xenio ultimate comes out to save him. The Xenio Center, True Snow is low, Hams is low, but the best gets a kill on Gao, and another kill onto Pro E. They're in trouble here, but Ken jumps in, gets a kill on, gets a kill on Hams. More tense. And look at Team Thailand right now, catching Namchin a little bit off guard. The Flash getting that kill with that Cyclone. Three versus four, and they have to run because there's no way they're going to win this game. Snow is so aggressive over there, but the Death of Above was beautiful from Q. Kian on that um, Zephyrs, hitting three people from that bush. Yeah, wow, he's able to turn that around, and looks like, wow, the Tulin is going to come in there. Is his ultimate up? No, he's not. Nah, Ham needs to run away. Look how low all of them are there. Is Tuna gonna be able to come in there? But look at the play by the Flash. Mr. Sun is coming right back in there and killing XB. No chance Tulin is able to clean that up. Oh, but that Max is gonna clear up that Flash so perfectly. He can't really get away from him. He can't run. And that is gonna be. Oh, oh it looks like he does have a shield coming from his passive. But Max is able to use that execute and deal the true damage from that execute. Get a kill on Thailand and just try to finish the game here. This is their chance. Yeah, Team Vietnam is playing a little bit scared right now. I'm not sure why. They need to be dying the tower when they have a wave crashing just like what they're doing right now and be able to get those kills but that cycle is going to be so strong defensively and Kia and it's going to be so low but he is able to sustain they are going to get that kill onto Lubu but that tower is just not falling yeah what misplay by Vietnam this is looking really bad for them there they're not able to execute their combos at all you saw in Namchin go in the back line and get just get focused on immediately the team and then Kim was really, really tough and Pro E is going to get caught out here unfortunately but they got to come in from the back here this is what they need to do oh no they're going to just let him die and not respawn as a result Thailand is going to win this fight that's very unfortunate as you know the late game composition is better but they get a kill on Mr. Sun this is huge this is the opening Vietnam needs to secure the game right now if they can get a kill onto Morin that would be huge he has the flicker he needs a flicker in and get the Destin
Trace onto one of the targets. And look at it, they're focusing on the tower. Kim is gonna be focused now. He's trying to drop down pretty low, but Ace Snow is gonna fall here. Yep, he's gonna fall. Kane is gonna drop. Nancy is gonna drop as well. And look at that, Kane is gonna be refreshed back up with Ancestral Glory. Then Janus Players comes right down. They're gonna kill the Wonder Woman. Oh my goodness, this fight is going back and forth. What is happening, Carol? Um, best over there used up the cooldown for his Ancestral Glory. And he's able to turn around this game because Ancestral Glory revives you with 40% every HP left but XP over there with his thunderclap passive on that Tulin is able to finish him off and the flash finishes off that Tulin coming back from his death look at that hand and store gonna jump on a dark slayer here it's a little risky though I'd be careful but more and best is getting his stacks up this is their chance to engage here but let's see how they're gonna get no more and more is gonna be able to pull Gao and look at how fast Gao's health is falling out he gets pulled from Wonder Woman and look at the damage coming down Gao's gonna fall Oh my goodness, but, but oh, the Dark Star is stolen by XB. What a great steal by two in here. And now they have to back off and run, but the damage from Beast is coming here. He's fearless right now, and he's going to actually back off. Play by King there, jumping in too early without the without the wave. And Suns is in a bad position here. Oh my goodness, he's going to Cyclone to get out of danger, but they're going to focus him down. King is getting pretty low. However, in Central Glory, it's going to come. It's going to be revived, and Snow is going to be caught here potentially but Keen's gonna just back off instead the ancestral glories all pop up because it does give them that insane damage buff so at this point having more gold is useless yeah you can see how close they oh no Mr. Sun is caught he's gonna activate his uh ultimate there and get out just in time but Max is gonna be able to use lift off to get on the back line and get the kill there they gotta support Max here they gotta focus the tower get the tower first but they're not focusing the tower oh no that is a mistake right now they are ahead they have the kill but as a result they're the back the tower and, has, and they're losing the fight and Vietnam is not able to convert that, that huge play onto Mr. Sun's towers on. They're so much better at CGN. Look at that, how fast that tower is falling. That's exactly what Moran wants to do. He uses the impact bar, but he gets dialed on. This is the chance here, but the cycles come in. Grab everyone. Namchin, low. Oh my good. Nam got a foul, but he has the chance of Namchin has the chance of glory as well. They're going to come up there. Tulin's going to come back in. Gao is going to get saved by the Angelic Spinner. Snow is going to fall. Mr. Sun's getting damaged. Look at the Lebu come in here. Hams is going to fall as well, but the Ancestral Glories all pop up for Snow. Hams back up again, and the kills and the revives are just coming back and forth, but Hams is going to fall. I'd like to point out a really, really godly move by two of the members of Team Vietnam that was perhaps overlooked that last sequence. So both um, Omen and Max managed to buy uh, the Hercules Manus between the time that they died and when they revived. So which wow. means that when they respawn, they both had huge shields that allowed them to get out safely. Yeah, Flash has a sense of glory. He's gonna come back to life, but Zephy's King needs to get onto this more in there. The damage is coming. Oh no, but he gets pushed back by Impact Barrage and he falls. Pro E does not have the damage for you to secure that, but he comes back and he gets another death from above combo onto him. He kills the Flash, but more is gonna come right back up here and the Mass Suns come up and wow. Or the Tomb of the Reapers to be able to halt that regeneration. Yeah, this is 30 minute game right now. Look at that, Gal's gonna come in. Best is locked in the Omen Death Embrace. However, look at the amount of life he's just getting back. The team is not with him. Him, and Omen is going to fall. Namchin is going to jump onto Best and he pushes back in Park Rush. It's so low, but look at the new lockup by New Blue Boo there. And look at they're able to kill and secure three kills onto Vietnam. This is going to be a Thailand's game to win. Thailand and uh, Best over there was just kiting the entire team so effectively, staying barely at their range while he's still able to poke at them. What? Oh my goodness. Not be able to defend that. Kane needs his, his, his teammates are up in 10 seconds. Yeah, that's not clean up. It's going to be G for Thailand here and they're gonna take the win over Vietnam just like that well, there's stuff out here if Vietnam doesn't win this game I'll eat my shoe <laughs> okay <laughs> that'd be great to see <laughs> um, but yeah for real though I think Vietnam really really has the upper hand in this composition Thailand's gonna pick out a work to round out their composition and giving them a little bit of extra beefiness in a very strong jungler on their side yeah Rourke has scatter shot he can stack that up to 12 times Shredding and doing more damage every time, reducing enemies' uh, armor on hit for six seconds. So you want to basically get in someone's face and just focus down the person that Rokas on. He has a charge shot too and a bolt. He can dash in there, get a stun, uh, and in determination, his ultimate is so good. It allows him to basically be unseeable for a good solid um, few seconds, and then he has a shoe that absorbs 1,200 damage. So maybe he is a counter Superman because Superman can CC you and work and just turn on to termination and then focus on the Man of Steel. So let's see if this tiling composition is going to be able to work. Superman getting ganked, but he's pushing it right back in the tower. <laughs> look at that. Lori has no chance to survive. Three versus one, but look at the sustain. Oh my goodness, this guy is so hard to kill. 
Yeah, Arum is just such a good hero. And look at Hems over here being taken down so low. He's ta diving the tower. He's been taking down so much damage, but he's going to be finished off by Tulin over there on the top lane. Yeah, Flash going to come and get a kill onto the Tulin there, but Superman is right behind him. And wow, the Cyclone dodges the ability right there. And Xenio is going to come down to save and give Mr. Sun some backup support that he needed. That was going to be a really tough spot here. If he gets hit again, he won't have the speed to run away, but he gets saved by Namchin. And look at that kill from over the wall. Beautiful play by Gao. And he's going to jump in again and get a kill on Loro. Gao is just so, so tanky on that Superman. For sure. And the one kind of negative thing about Aram is that her beasts, her ravenous beasts, do reveal her when she's in a bush, so she does have less ganking potential. But what she can do is that she can just sit in your face the entire time while her beasts do deal damage to you and then heal up and then have no effect done on you at all. Wow, the snare comes in onto Best there. He's focused down, but look at the barrier he's getting. He actually has ultimate determination. Crowley's gonna focus down. Oh, Best gets a kill on Keen there. What a play by the rogue. And look at the damage. Now gonna fall next. Crowley is in a really tough spot here. He's gotta activate. He's getting so much sustain from his drop and his beast, but they're gonna focus down as well. XB not gonna be able to come in there he's they're so low he has a chance to get the kill but he does not go in maybe they decided that the matchup against Kilgrath wasn't the best oh look at this nice collect the snare comes in pro e is able to take the tower damage and is gonna wow that heal comes just in time to save him but that's exactly what pre wants to do flash is gonna get a kill and he's gonna fall here there's no place to escape superman's coming but wow he does not escape god comes right back in with that dash he's gonna give her the escape she needs. Oh, but Hams knows that Kian is in that bush over there. He's able to dash onto oh, her. Oh, wow, he actually but she is able to escape. Him, But it's not going to be up. He gets snared and he gets killed. And then Ro comes right back in. Best able to kill Kian there. But Superman's going to have to be back off. Koi's in a big trouble. But Superman comes right in, gets focused down. Best is now in trouble. And then the beautiful tiger uncaged lands there. And Best is barely alive. Oh, my goodness. Another determination gets popped. He's running for his life right now but Superman is gonna be able to track him down there we go Superman gets the kill wow being by getting the ravenous beast lines to hit their point and look at the snare it comes out the tower is hitting it the damage comes out look at that oh my goodness Superman gets two kills this is why Superman is banned so often and then the stun comes out with uncaged he's able to push back best there and just flies out to safety he's gonna go on your ally and Superman is such a threat he is just chasing over team Thailand while the rest of his team leisurely takes over that tower in the middle lane looks like they might get another tower over here on the high ground and Crowley is just in the middle wow. of it all sustaining through everything that is just such a beast of a composition by Vietnam. Yeah, that is insane there. What a nice snare. Look at that beast getting locked out. Oh my goodness. Barely any health. He gets out just in time. But Nam Chin, he needs to flash out. Look at Hams there. He's going to try to get onto Pro E. But Gao and Kim are there to protect him. And look at the damage coming out. Flash has to back up immediately right away. Flash definitely needed to back off there or he would have been a huge risk. Like Kim is able to survive that red stallion from snow. But he is going to be able to be finished off. And looks like there's a little bit of a fight here. Uh, their health bar is coming low, but Namchu is going to be one before him over here. Oh my goodness, jungle. and the kill comes out. Gao's going to come in there. Superman's going to try to get a kill onto the guy, and he does. And Lore is, Lori is in a big, big trouble here. And Tulin's going to be able to finish off. XP kills him there. And look at that, the minions are spawned. It's an ace, and this is going to be GG for Team Vietnam, redeeming themselves from Game 1 with a decisive Game 2 victory. What an absolute roller coaster of a game. CC with the Ryu ultimate. She can, also has a, a chain CC Shuriken that she just throws out and stuns everything in its path. So she can be really good, but she's pretty really squishy and assassin. Yeah, that's really true. I think that Team Thailand's composition is looking a little bit squishy overall, but with only that Aram to back it up, back it up. But it looks like Vietnam is going to pick it that pick that Violet as a counter to Best over there on that Aram, not Best, but um, the Aram that Team Thailand has picked. Yeah, so surprise. I mean, Zeppi's gonna pick pick side lane too, but Ari's not bad as well because again, he can fly around the map. Doing, wow, no Croc instead. <gasps> that is such a heavy dive composition there. Zenio with the blue there. That's actually really solid. If I was in this right now, I'm gonna be really scared. I believe that she is also invincible, or at least inv um, invulnerable to crowd control while she's doing it. But we're gonna see four members of Vietnam posturing themselves around the Abyssal Dragon, hoping to take the first one of the game but two a uh, uh, one member two members of team thailand are going to come down from the top lane and from the middle and then they're able to contest this oh but keen steals it with a, such a beautiful beautiful punish there and the nam chain is going to come from the across the map with the 
Genix Planner and Gao gets a kill onto R and Best is gonna fall as well. Look at XP coming in there and the Reiki shot is gonna come on the snow. He's in a big tough spot right now. He's gotta be able to spin out of there. But he's gonna Oh wow, look at the dodge there. Well played by Snow. That was such a good trade for Team Vietnam, trading one member, um, Gao, for two members of Team Thailand and also taking the Abyssal Dragon as well. Yeah, look at Pro oh my goodness. You gotta watch out. He has execute there, but Sun is in a very dangerous spot and the, the shining light comes off there with the kill instantly. But Flash is going to realize that there's not much to be done here. Xenio is farming under the tower so he's going to clear his wave and then opt to help out in this fight over here on the bottom jungle. Yeah and look at that Gao jumps in there gets a kill on for Vietnam. It's going to give them a nice lead and the, the pistol giant just spawned here. That's a really bad time to die. The best is going to get collapsed on four versus one. He falls and they're going to easily take this tower and Mr. Sun it's going to try to back off and clear the wave and save the tower and he does save the tower but Kin is going to jump out and the snare comes on XP. What perfect time, but it's not going to be enough to kill him. But XP is in trouble. He gets stunned there. He's got to get out and the execute comes up from the flash, secures the kill. Wow, what beautiful play back and forth. That was such a beautiful chain of events by Mr. Suns and Lori over there. The knockout is going to happen and kick out Mr. Suns though, as well as... Um as well as Gal over there on the Boo Boo. Nakoth is going to come over again, get a beautiful knockout, but Lori's going to survive with one HP, and Arya's going to go over oh. there, die the tower to get that kill onto Nakoth, and the Alice, a two for one. Wow. Very, very well played That's by Ari. Crazy. Just gets out of trouble like that. But what Nakoth needs to do is just, he needs to run all over the map and just steal jungle everywhere. Just farm, 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 and get ahead, really ahead. But look at the collapse there. Pro E doesn't stand a chance when he gets snared by Arm. Kian does have a lot of mobility, but not enough. Bass does have the red buff, which is slowing him down, and she is able to get that kill. What a beautiful kite by Bass. A little dangerous here. Oh, Vietnam doesn't know what's happening here. And look at that. Oh, they do. They spot him out, and look at the flash ultimate. My goodness. Gets a kill on Pro E. Gao then gets a kill onto Snow, and they're going to trade so many kills back and forth there. Gao then falls next as well. Lori then falls, and it's a 2v42 trade. In gold, they're really, is only slightly ahead in gold. They're so good at converting those kills into objectives. They have three towers compared to zero on the side of Vietnam. And look at the skirmish happening over here. Hems is so low. Liliana is going to dive him wow. and she is able to get that kill onto Rioma. Yeah, what a beautiful dive that Fox performed. But Sun's going to come in there. They got to save their best. It's going to be jumped on by Liliana and the Fox comes out and wow, look at that play. Gets a kill on the best, but Sun's gets a kill on to uh, XB and they both trade one for one here. Thailand is winning map control, exerting a lot more dominance against their opponents here. <gasps> Keen is going to come and get a knock up onto Hams there, and there we go. Ham is going to fall, and no way to escape. And that's the weakness of Ryoma. He's not as mobile as the other heroes. And look at the snares coming in there, and boom! The Reiki shot lands onto Lori, and the Giant Spirit lands onto Keen. He's going to be survived. They get a two kills on Thailand. Dark Slayer is up. Mr. Sun is going to be caught out here. But he's going to be flashing away. They're going to stay where he was here so he can't jump back. Focus. <gasps> oh no, Bess is going to be caught out here. Oh, the mass is missed, but Slow's going to come on. Look at the sign, and Bess just gets deleted in an instant. Slayer, this is not looking good for Vietnam. They need to get ahead of the ADC count, not behind. And look at that, Gao is out of position. Going to get caught out here, unfortunately. And he's going to be able to fall. And Thailand is going to come back in the game just like that. Wait a minute. Oh my goodness, what a beautiful land there. Ham is going to fall as well, potentially here. But look! Get the damage onto Pro E. Oh my goodness, Thailand is making so much work. And Suns, they're going to be able to get onto Zeno. The, the, <laughs> the ultimate doesn't come in time. He's able to use a Gen experiment and run out to safety. Yeah, and the Flash just didn't, have the, the, just didn't have the cooldowns over there. But look at this interaction in the bottom lane. Kian is able to shut down best on that Lindus. Yeah, as much as Vietnam is kind of coming back, reducing their gold deficit against Team Thailand, Team Thailand is trying really, really hard to maintain oh, their tower lead. There, the Alice, but look at it, Best is in a really bad position, he's going to get caught and going to get killed there, but the Flash ultimate is going to come down, and they're going to get killed on Gao, Snow, uh, Best already fall, but look at the damage, Sun's going to fall as well, what beautiful play by XB, they're doing so much work as Liliana, Ham's in a really tough position, uh, they're going to try to get a kill onto Roma here, he cannot escape that long, and the stun, perfect stun by the Liliana here, he has no chance to survive, oh my god, they missed all their abilities, that is not a good look for... Vietnam, they're wasting too much time trying to chase the guy. And he gets a kill on Pro E. This is not what Vietnam wants. They need to go ahead and. Until now, they're actually ahead in towers. Four towers to three. Oh, wow. Look at the amount of burst damage coming in there. Wow. They're going to jump in. They're going to focus on Lori, but that's not the person you want to focus. That's the most technical member on the team. Gao is getting so low. He gets stunned by Roma, and he's going to fall right there. And look at that beautiful arm. Lori is able to land that kill. And Sun's going to fall as well. XP is going to fall. Pro E needs to just get out to safety here. 
Mistake by Vietnam there, focusing in the tank. That's not who you want to focus. Glory is literally the tankest team on Thailand. You want to try to focus on Hams or uh, Beast, Best, or someone else instead of Glory. Yeah, Team Vietnam definitely made a ton of mistakes over there in their focus. Best was just over there in the back line, and Kiana, if you notice, was in a position to dive onto him, but instead opted to go for the tank instead. Why would you do that instead of going for their damage, going for their carry? Yeah, Namchin there. Get a kill on people. They're rushing in. Oh my god, what a beautiful hissy fit there. The best stands, no chance, and boom, just like that, he falls. Running away because if Lindis falls, the team is going to lose. Team Vietnam's going to crash with this minion wave oh, and they're gonna wow. dive a tower and so many bodies are just falling like hissy fit is coming out and the real is dying uh alice is dying and but um what they still have the siege minion over there kin just went in there and deleted the lindis in just a few combos and look at this vietnam is looking to take this game away will they be able to do it they don't have the minion wave they don't have enough damage but look how low the chronic and vietnam is able to do it. and they take the win over thailand the assassin cup has paid off Game 3 is theirs. They have exerted dominance over Team Thailand after such a messy early game.